let us discuss integration integration what do you mean by integration so far so far we have studied differential calculus so in differential calculus we have studied how to find out differential coefficients of various functions suppose for example you take this function let this f of x is equal to x square plus 5x plus 6 now the differential coefficient of this one so differentiate both sides with respect to x we say that is f dash x this f dash x is equal to x square differentiation 2x plus 5 this differentiation is 0 2x plus 5 similarly one more example or this can be written like this also d by dx of x square plus 5x plus 6 equals to 2x plus 5 similarly d by dx of the sin x equals to cos x so that means if you differentiate this function we get 2x plus 5 if you differentiate this function we get cos x so now similarly suppose you say this f dash x is equal to f of x that means derivative of f of x is f of x or this can be written d by dx of this f of x is f of x then what do we call f of x this f of x is known as primitive of f primitive or we can call antiderivative now this antiderivative is nothing but integration so now integration means actually summation the meaning of integration word is summation summation means this is s u m m a t i n in summation you take the symbol s just along both sides you get this symbol this is the symbol for integration the symbol for integration symbol for integration now let us find out the integrals of some standard functions or standard forms so that means here integration of some standard functions or standard forms so consider first one d by dx of x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 so let us differentiate it here n plus 1 is constant 1 by n plus 1 take 1 by n plus 1 common d by dx of x to the power of n plus 1 so 1 by n plus 1 into derivative of x plus 1 is that is in the form of x to the power of n the derivative of x to the power of n is n into x to the power of n minus 1 so this can be written n plus 1 times x to the power of n plus 1 minus 1 this this gets cancelled we get x to the power of n what is the antiderivative of x to the power of n that is nothing but integral so x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 suppose in the place of x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus some constant is there what is its derivative its derivative is also x to the power of n so that is why we get indefinite integral so indefinite integral of this one symbol is already we know this one we call it as a integral of x to the power of n here variable is x so that is dx equals to we can write x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus some constant maybe is there this constant is known as constant of integration integral of x to the power of n dx is equal to 
x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c where n does not equal to minus 1. If n is equal to minus 1 what does it become? If n is equal to minus 1, minus 1 plus 1 become 0 is not defined that is why for other than n is equal to minus 1 integral of x to the power of n dx is equal to x to the power of n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. So, now second one d by dx of log mod x. So, what is the derivative of log mod x? The derivative of log mod x is 1 by x. So, this is 1 by x. Therefore, integral of 1 by x dx equal to log mod x plus c. So, this is that means indirectly if n is equal to minus 1 this x to the power of n becomes x to the power of minus 1 x to the power of minus 1 is nothing but 1 by x. So, that is log mod x dx. So, now third one d by dx of e power x exponential function. What is the derivative of e power x? The derivative of e power x is e power x only. So, integral of e power x dx is equal to e power x plus c. So, now fourth one d by dx of a power x by log a. What is the derivative of a power x by log a? So, 1 by log a common. Let us find out the derivative of a power x d by dx of a power x. What is the derivative of a power x? Derivative of a power x is a power x multiplied by log a. So, we get 1 by log a into derivative of a power x is a power x into log a. So, log a log a cancel we have a power x. Therefore, integral of a power x dx equals to a power x by log a plus constant of integration. Now, fifth one d by dx of minus cos x. So, this is sin x. Therefore, integral of sin x dx is equal to minus cos x plus c. Next, d by dx of d by dx of here sin x derivative of sin x is cos x. So, integral of cos x dx is equal to sin x plus c. So, now d by dx of log of sin x or log mod sin x. So, this is what is the derivative of log of sin x that is 1 by sin x into sin x derivative is cos x, cos x by sin x is cot x. So, therefore, integral of cot x dx is equal to log mod sin x plus c. 
or this is minus log mod cosecant x plus c. Next d by dx of log cos x this is equal to 1 by cos x into derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So, we write minus tan x. So, integral of tan x dx is equal to minus log cos x plus c or log secant x plus c because derivative of log secant x is 1 by secant x into secant x tan x secant x secant x cancel we get tan x otherwise in two ways we can write integral of tan x dx is equal to log mod secant x plus c or minus log cos x plus c. d by dx of tan x derivative of tan x is secant square x. Therefore, integral of secant square x dx is equal to tan x plus c. Next d by dx of minus cot x derivative of minus cot x is cosecant square x. Therefore, integral of cosecant square x dx is equal to minus cot x plus c. d by dx of secant x. This is secant x into tan x. So, integral of secant x into tan x dx is equal to secant x plus c. Next d by dx of minus cosecant x that is cosecant x cot x. So, integral of cosecant x cot x dx is equal to minus cosecant x plus c. Next, d by dx of sin inverse x, this is equal to 1 by root of 1 minus x square. d by dx of sin inverse x is equal to 1 by root of 1 minus x square. So, integral of 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx is equal to sin inverse x plus constant of integration. Next d by dx of minus cos inverse x this is also same 1 by root of 1 minus x square. So, therefore, integral of 1 by root of 1 minus x square dx equals to minus cos inverse x plus c.
डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ टेन इनवर्स एक्स और डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ माइनस कॉट इनवर्स एक्स इक्वल्स टू वन बाई वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर देर फोर इंटेग्रल ऑफ वन बाई वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन इनवर्स एक्स प्लस सी और दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस कॉट इनवर्स एक्स प्लस सी नेक्स्ट डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ सी कैंट इनवर्स एक्स दट इज वन बाई मॉड एक्स अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन सो इंटेग्रल वन बाई मॉड एक्स अंडर रूट ऑफ एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू सी कैंट इनवर्स एक्स प्लस सी नेक्स्ट हाइपरबोलिक फंक्शंस डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ साइन एच एक्स दिस इज कॉस एच एक्स इंटेग्रल ऑफ कॉस एच एक्स डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू साइन एच एक्स प्लस सी 